What's up guys, Luke Griffith here and uh, we are at 2023 IBJJF World Championships and uh, we're getting ready to, to go out and compete. Some big dudes in the division this year, I looked out there and I was like, man, maybe I should try to go back down to super heavy, but uh, no, it's going to be a fun time, I'm looking forward to, to going out there and competing. Uh, IBJJF, besides ADCC, is like, uh, you know, the World, World Championship is probably one of the biggest tournaments uh, that they are in Jiu Jitsu, uh, you know, and it's nice to, to kind of just have that accomplishment under the belt. So uh, I want to go out there and uh, see if I can continue my submission streak uh, as well as uh, you know, get the double goal this weekend. Big E done. <laughs> Overall, how was the match? Pretty good. Uh, it's like a nice kind of slow pace. He was big, so it wasn't too quick. Nice to kind of warm up the body a little bit and uh, get ready for the rest of the matches. Thank you so much. Oh, you're strong as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm 45. How old are you now? 22. <laughs> uh, good stuff, man. Hope you crush him. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, do something with them, but eventually, got the slide by, got to the back, get the strangle. Was the slide by you playing all along? It seemed like that was kind of what you were trying to say. I was definitely trying to either that or hit the foot sweep, the Ashi off the end of it, and I was lucky enough to get to the back from it, so it was good. It seems like there's been a, been a huge influence of wrestling in the, in the new way of growth. Yeah, something? it's uh, something I've been working on personally a lot as well. Uh, you know, uh, something that's possibly been perceived as one of my weaknesses in the past, and uh, yeah, I've been trying to develop it. And, Turn into a shrink. So you're on to the finals now. I would say most likely you're probably gonna have like David, David Ramos. Ramos. Yeah. He just fought a big game, right? Miles. He did. Yeah. I've actually fought him. I fought him last year at Worlds. It's a tough competitor, so I'm looking forward to it. Feeling good. It was a pretty good match start on the feet. Uh, I felt his hair was a bit slippery, so couldn't get a good grip on the collar tie, so I decided to pull. And uh, he actually did a good job inverting. I had to uh, disentangle the legs a few times, but then uh, once he got on top, it was a uh, pretty smooth sailor. So the streak's still alive, right? So far, yeah, so tell far. Me, tell me about the streak. What is it exactly? So, so far, I think with three matches today, I'll be at 41 matches total for the year with one loss and all 40 wins being by submission. That's incredible. So, man. yeah. Do you think that's one of the wildest 
current streak slash record? I hope so. I hope so. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I didn't realize it until uh, I got back from Euros and I was just trying to count up all the matches I had for the year. And I couldn't remember a single one that I had won by decision. So I went back and looked and uh, I hadn't won any by decision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So already one goal. Up yes, next sir. To the absolute. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. Baby t shirt. Baby. A little bit too much rest in between for my liking, but uh, yeah, we get some food in, you know, get ready to, uh, to start the open class. Yeah, a little bit sloppy. I think the little break in between might have had something to do with that, but a uh, good first match to get warmed up again. Should get better from that one on. At, at this point, not to get too much in your head, but at this point, how much does the streak of submissions kind of mean to you? Um, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, uh, honestly, I don't think about it too much. You know, whether it's a streak or not, I want to go out there and finish, guys. So I don't really think about it too much. Obviously, you can get to a point where you're putting so much pressure on yourself that, uh, you know, it makes it hard, so I try not to think about it and just uh, take every match one at a time. Okay. Yeah. How much do you think the mustache is playing in to all these Man, the mustache definitely has some special powers. Someone commented on one of my photos, it's like, it takes the soul of each victim that I submit. It just keeps its power, so maybe that's what it is. <laughs> keep that thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, the same guy that I hit with Harai Goshi at Euros, so he's a good wrestler, so I kind of wanted to make a statement with that to show everyone my wrestling is top level, you know, uh, so yeah, it was a good one. I think it's my first highlight, uh, highlight reel takedown from the back, so that's a good one to, to add to. Yeah, I was like, I looked down and the yellow was right as that, now I got to go back to the center, so yeah, that was cool. It also seems... Uh, you're on someone's back and you get your arm across there. It's done. Yeah, it's done. Anywhere from the eyes down, I can, uh, I can finish. Awesome. <laughs> to the finals? Yes, sir. All right, bro. Thank you. Double gold, double gold. We are uh, good, feels good. Had a couple of fans asking for a smother, so uh, that I was able to go out and do that for them. You know, hit a couple of them this year. I think that might be the last one for a while, but uh, yeah, happy with the performance today. Before you went out there, and there were, you had fans asking you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think someone got a video asking me as well, and I was like, we'll see what happens. So yeah, we're happy we got it done. That's awesome, bro. Is that kind of like 
with the icing on the cake to kind of get the smother jab in the end, something that you, Big Dan, are kind of becoming known yeah. for a lot? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think it's uh, it's definitely not the most technical submission, but uh, I definitely think it shows utter dominance, you know, get on top of someone, just smother them to, to death is uh, definitely a very humiliating way to be uh, submitted. So, yeah, it might not be the prettiest thing to look at, but uh, I think it's a way you can show your dominance for sure. Uh, just thank you to John, Gordon, Gary, everyone at the gym for all the work that they put in with me every day for the knowledge and uh, yeah, wouldn't be here without any of them. And then obviously, sponsor Roll Forever, thank you for everything and uh, yeah, South Africa to the top, baby.